Alrighty guys, it is Monday. Um, before we start the video, um, I hopped on Facebook this morning and there was some more unfortunate news. Um, JetBlue lost another member of the family. His name was Ray. I was reading on all the comments and all the posts that everybody was posting and uh, he seemed like a really good guy. Never had the chance to meet him, but I just wanted to pay tribute to Ray before we started the video. And uh, I wanna leave you guys with a quote that I saw the other day um, when I was watching YouTube, and it was, we may not be able to change the direction of the wind, but we can adjust our sails to reach our destination. So what I got from that is that basically with everything going on right now, um, we can't change what is going on. We can't change the lockdown, um, but we can adjust our plans to make sure we still reach our goals. So for instance, fitness. Um, say you set yourself a fitness goal, just because you can't go to the gym doesn't mean you can't get a home workout and you can't go outside and go for a run. Um, so pretty awesome quote. Um, and uh, just wanted to pay respect to Ray. And uh, here's the video. I have a dream, that's all I need I'll make it happen with some work and belief Know what I want, so I'll take it on I'll make mistakes, but mistakes make you strong Let's break it down for a minute I want the crown, I'm gon' get it You hear me loud, man, I'm winning Yeah, Charlie Sheen would be great Hey, what's up, guys? Today is day two of three on reserve um, if you guys are new here, my name is Chris. I'm a flight attendant. I document the life of a flight attendant and the life of a Army National Guard soldier. And I'm kind of showing you guys my journey in becoming an Army pilot. Uh, also while trying to achieve other goals. And uh, just showing you guys that it's possible to, to make those big dreams come true. So today's day two or three of reserve. Probably wondering why I'm in a car. I should probably be home waiting for a phone call. But Shanley and I, I dropped her off at the airport a couple days ago, so I kind of forgot that I had to pick her up. So I'm on my way to pick up Shanley at the airport right now. She just got back. She just got back from a four-day trip. Um, it is Saturday, April 11th. I think tomorrow is Easter. Yesterday was Good Friday. Um, so I ended up grabbing her her favorite coffee. And then I grabbed her a bouquet of flowers. Um, it's part of one of my goals. So I, I talked about like setting goals throughout the year, every quarter. And I talked about like there's different categories and one of them was relationship goals. And I kind of just want to monthly have these goals where I do nice gestures and nice things for my loved one to show appreciation. So yeah. That's my thoughts on that, and I'll see you guys when we get Shanley. So what took me so long was I went to Stop and Shop and they're doing this thing where you have to stand in line before you go in. So there was like a huge line. Oh my and I wanted to get you some flowers. Hey! I got some flowers. Oh, so that's beautiful. why I left early. I did. I swear. You didn't get one? No, I was gonna, but then... Why are you doing this to yourself? This is like the second time you did it. I love these masks by the way. Our friend Crystal made these masks and she gave them to us so I've been wearing this whenever I go into a store and they're um, reusable so I can just wash them and use them again so thanks Crystal. Um, and they're, I've gotten like tons of compliments on it because it like comes up on the nose and it like gives you room to breathe so you're not like sucking in the fabric which is really nice. Yes, so very, very form fit and so thanks Crystal. 
Um, thank you, my dad. My dad gave me some ass. And then I just got an email from someone from JetBlue. Her name was Faye. So thank you, Faye, for reaching out to me. Her daughter's create a mask and sending them out to JetBlue employees. So That's thank nice. you, Faye, as well. See you guys back at the house. So we don't know what we're going to do today. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come here. You okay, pal? Huh? Why do you look like you've been abused? All right, so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna test out the drone. Um, right now, the firmware is updated, and uh, yeah, we get the shields on it. We're gonna test it out with the shields. I made sure to buy the DGI, uh, I think it's called the Refresh Care Package. So I bought that. That was one recommendation I had from somebody because they ended up crashing theirs day one and they got a brand new one. So, thank you for that recommendation. Let's test this bad boy out. I guess Gronk was a little bit scared. I'm oh, sorry, buddy. I'm oh, sorry. Come here. Come here. Give me a hug. Come here. Give me a hug. Give me a hug, Phil. family bought this Alexa toy and uh, with social distancing they've been doing a lot of calls with the family but today we're gonna have hey Alexa tell me some positive news the owner of a bar in Georgia has turned a decorating strategy into money for the employees food and wine reports the beach bar had a tradition where guests would sign a bill and staple it to the wall Owner Jennifer Knox decided to take advantage of her free time by taking the money off the walls, then, quote, donating all the money to our bartenders and musicians that need it. The walls held over $3,700. That's awesome. Thanks, Alexa. Alrighty, so since I have so much time on my hands, um, I, had, I went and got my car inspected and they gave me a list of things I needed to get fixed. And the total price came out to eleven hundred dollars so what I did was went on Amazon I ordered all the parts myself and uh, that's gonna be my project for the next month is to do brake pads rotors brake fluid system flush replace the air filter replace the fog lights the license plate bulbs so that's what we're gonna be doing so instead of paying eleven hundred dollars for all that with the parts and the labor I spent $297 on Amazon for all the parts um, and since like I said I have so much free time I'm gonna do it myself uh, what I usually do is I just go to YouTube and just YouTube how to do these things because YouTube is clutch well, today is uh, day three of reserve which is over because um, I got called this morning at 5 a.m. to do a shower turn and I said no I'm not doing it. <laughs> Like I told you guys, I'm trying to limit 
the amount of flying I do for at least another couple weeks. I just really want to see where this virus goes. And I just want to, you know, do my best to proactively mitigate exposure to the virus. I want to make sure I'm not exposing family members, my girlfriend. So Shanley has, do you mind if I say? Yeah. Shanley has a lung condition where she has asthma. So she's considered, what's it called? Like a high risk. So she's considered high risk to get the virus. And I would feel so guilty if I gave my baby the COVID. So stressed, honestly, going to work. But is, yeah, it's a lot for me right now. Yeah, and it's... I get, I'm very. I do what I'm supposed to do, but I have to rely on other people to do what they're supposed to do. And you know, with a lot of the things that we hear on a daily basis, not everybody does their part, and that's that's the risk factor. That's the reality of it. It's like it sounds easier said than done. Like, oh, just take the precautions, do your part, but. Not everybody's doing it, so yeah, you can't change someone, can't change someone's ways. So, I think the best way to mitigate exposure is to kind of just hunker down at the house for a little bit. And uh, today is Easter, so happy Easter! We spent this afternoon, my mom made a delicious brunch, oh, French toast, so yummy, eggs, ham. Cauliflower um, hash browns. Cauliflower hash browns, which were actually really good. So thank you, Mom. 10 out of 10 recommend those. Yep. And right now we're just, we kind of wanted to just get out of the house and enjoy the day. So what we're doing is we got a coffee. Got some Bucky's. Some Bucky's. We had it. We're the people that go to Starbucks that order something that have to get it remade for a second time. But I've for good reason. I've actually been on a Starbucks strike because of that. I usually do the like sweet cream, cold foam, cold brews, and I love them. Um, and I do like a sugar-free cinnamon dolce, and it sounds so bougie, but it's really not. They get the cream wrong every time, like on the top. So I've been on a strike, and then we went through today, and I wanted um, a honey oat milk latte. I love me some oat milk, it's so good. Yeah, if you guys haven't had oat milk in your coffee yet, try fire. it, it's really good. So fire. And it's not, you don't feel guilty drinking it either. It's not like creamer. Which, there's nothing wrong with creamer. I'm just gonna add that. But, um, I guess it's only in select stores. Canada. That blows. So we tried something else and it was actually just like a cup of cream and we're like, we can't do this. So yeah, I had to go back to the draft and be like, hey man. So we switched it up. But yeah, we're, we're sitting in um, Duxbury right now. I don't know if you guys ever been to Duxbury, but it's like a beautiful little area. This is my thinking spot. This yeah. is where I come for my peace and quiet. So we're just sitting here, enjoying the scenery, practicing, social distancing. I brought my drone. So we get the drone. We're gonna try to we're gonna try to test the drone out. I just gotta figure out if we're near an airport. I Which just, is tough because there's a lot of airports in Massachusetts. And I realize there's a there's an airport within one mile of my house. So somewhere limited to range. Range limitations. Kind of makes me think that like you know most hotels are by the airport. So yeah. But anyways, I'm actually pretty stoked to have the drone. It's pretty fun. I've been having a good time flying it. Yeah, so reserve is over. We're done with a reserve. I'm gonna be making more like lifestyle videos, more what I'm doing in quarantine. I don't have a I don't have a trip till the end of this month, and it was supposed to be a four day trip, but they already they modified it last night and they turned it into a two day trip. Um, it's in San Juan, and they're on like they're on super lockdown, so I don't know if <laughs> it's prison, but it's good. They're doing a good thing. That's probably why they've been able to mitigate like the amount of cases of coronavirus in uh, Puerto Rico, so props to them. We're gonna sit here. This is our date date spot now. We can't do date nights. We can't go out to dinner. You know, I'm living. Still waiting for my rollerblades. To come. She I'm ordered so some sad. rollerblades. He said three to four, five days, and now it's three, three weeks. Three weeks. And I just ordered all my parts to do my car. So we're gonna be Yay. doing like videos of me doing my car <laughs> that'll be so interesting <laughs> but yeah so they were gonna charge me like eleven hundred dollars to just do all the stuff that i told you guys earlier in the video and i spent 297 dollars on all the parts and now that i have all the time in the world that's what we're gonna be doing um and a quick update so we did apply for the covid19 it's like a five month three month or a two month leave five month 
three month or a one month leave and uh, we didn't get awarded it which blows which kind of stinks uh, it's a seniority based thing so we're just our whole class didn't get it but they're up there offering it every month so everyone can apply for it each month um, depending on the amount of people they need to do it but we have crew flex which means we're part-time which means we um, are still going to be able to apply for unemployment according to our company standards. They said they're not going to deny us. So you'll just get a percentage of unemployment. You won't get full unemployment pay. So that's something to understand. I had to really sit down and try to figure all of that out because it's different for everybody depending on how much you make, how long you've been with the company, what your taxes were from the year before. Like you have to do math. To figure out <laughs> where you can you have to do math. Yeah, well I had other people visualizing oh, and what? watching me, so I did good math. I thought you I'm, did it all by yourself. I'm, I told you I had help uh -huh. making sure that my math was right. I'm terrible with math. Uh, Not my forte. Give me anything to write and I'll kill it. I love math. Writing. Or math, I should say. But yeah, that's what we get going on. That's an update for work. I know I told you guys last video that I applied for that. So I didn't get it. And uh, we're still going to be flying. We're going to be looking at places. We have a couple a couple locations that we're looking at right now. But once we get that kind of set in stone, we're going to be some doing some virtual tours coming up here of some places that we're going to live for the next year. And still waiting on a new interv interview date for flight school. So that was postponed. But yeah, we're gonna sit here and enjoy our coffee and uh, enjoy date night together. <laughs>